I don't care. I look crazy. And my shirt is dirty. Let's go change our shirt. Oh, I changed my shirt, but it's on backwards. Cause don't it. I don't really have to do with this to this because it's already plucked. It's not really much plucking space. This is really it, like this little centimeter, because these are tracks right here. So I really can't pluck it, and you can't bleach really synthetic. Well, I don't know. I just don't want to try to bleach it, and then it's looking all crunchy. I really like how it look, and also all I gotta do is probably just put a little foundation on it, and we're good to go. So we just about to go ahead and put this on. She's giving everything, so stay tuned. So, yeah, I am doing my bald cap method. And I honestly don't like using a, a weird cap when it comes to my bald cap because I honestly don't like the thickness. And sometimes I can't see my hairline, so I tend to cut the, you know, wig cap a little wrong. But I'm trying, okay? <laughs> I like using stocking caps because it gives... I can see my hairline because I have a low hairline in it. And I can really cut it to perfection. Now, I'm using the uh, Eben. This is the Lace Bond. I actually have the other two kinds, the red and the yellow. But I honestly believe that this one, this black can, is the one for me. I just love how it sticks and stays. So, yeah, I just dried it on cool air and then I switched it to hot. And then you'll see me like tapping it right here um, where I just wanted to see whether or not it was dry. And if you don't feel the stickiness or the resistance, then it's dry. So then I took my foundation, went ahead and put that on my wig cap. And then I went ahead and started to cut it. And so, um, I cut it using these, uh, hair shears. Um, of course you guys already know, but like I said, I don't like using wigs caps, caps no more. I'm just, I ran out of stocking cap, so I had to use a wig cap. So this is what it is. And this is what I have to do. And I don't like using wig caps simply because I cannot see my hairline. As I mentioned before, my hairline is fairly low and I need to see where I'm cutting. See, you see that one side is all the way up there. So I had to go ahead and pull it back and cut it. So it was a lot. Um, so if you are doing ball cap methods, go ahead and get you a stocking cap. Don't use these thick wig caps to each his own. Let me just say that. <laughs> so yeah, I used the um, boho lace glue, not lace glue. That's the liquid gold to basically seal the edges of my wig cap. And then I put the same foundation I put on my wig cap onto the lace of that. And girl, this wig looked so good, honey. I mean, like, really, really good. putting on this uh wig i'm noticing like how small it is and like i didn't realize like yo this is not my size wig and it's a little tight so i just did what i needed to do and um try to put this cap on now look at this man in the back he is just want to be seen <laughs> look at him all in the refrigerator what are you doing 
Yes, that's me at three in the morning. <laughs> so, anyways, let's lock him out, okay? And uh, we gonna go ahead and put this. Um, that's the liquid gold by Boho onto my wig cap, so we can secure this wig. Now, I don't know, but I honestly love liquid gold for when it's synthetic wig because I don't like putting on my real, you know, uh, lace glue when it comes to synthetic. Because, honey, let's be honest, synthetic gonna give you a good little wig. Then after that, it's just gonna start acting up, and we don't need that. So I don't use no permanent hair glue. I mean, lace glue when it comes to synthetic. Absolutely not. We're going to use this temporary hold, hold bow hold, uh, liquid gold. Okay. Temporary hold, bow hold, liquid gold. Almost <laughs> Almost had it. Well, that's okay. Oh, yeah. And, um, <laughs> can't even break character. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and secure it, secure it down. And like I said, this wig was a little small. I was trying my best to like hold it down. It was not trying to hold down. I'm like, okay, we just got to go ahead and get the little blow dryer out. And we finna make it stay down. And honestly, I kept this wig on for all of two days. And I was like, yeah, no, this wig is too tight for me. I took it off because it was way too small. So anyways, go ahead and wrap it up for a little bit just so I can make sure that my um, edges, I mean, my the wig cap, what am I saying? <laughs> We're going to make sure it's secure. That's it. That's all. And yeah. All 40 inches. It's soft and it's super bouncy. She should be nice and laid down. Let's get on with this video. So, yeah, once that is done, trying to have that on for a good little hour or 30 minutes or so, we're going to go ahead and cut this uh, lace um off because she is ready now i pulled out the edges already so i can make sure that that glue is not you know making them crunchy or anything like that we need to make sure they're secure i went ahead and took out some more of the baby hairs and basically cut the long little strands so i can have a much more fuller uh edges the way i want them to look <laughs> Do you see how tight this freaking wig is, bro? Look at it. Let me zoom you in. Look at that. So tight. And then the glue. Look at how tight it is. It's super tight. Like my freaking forehead is about to explode. Let's just get it off. Let's cut her. Woo, yes. That's worse than a headband. Baby, can you do me a favor? Can you put some like water in here, please? I needed it for this hair, but I'm thirsty. Now, see, that's a real black king right there. You hear me? <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take off this glue onto this wig. And because um, I think I sprayed a little bit too much. Oh, no, I mean, I sprayed. I put a little bit too much glue too far down. Um, but no worry. Nothing but a little water can go ahead and take it off. And then I'm going, I'm cutting the lace very close to the hair the hairline because this is synthetic and we don't need no um lace showing so um this little edge part wasn't trying to stay down so i went ahead and put a little glue up on it blow dried it and pat it down and just stayed in place so as you can see right here it is looking really really good i'm super excited how it's turning out now this side was giving me problems but as i said i'm gonna make it do what it do if it don't work baby i'm going to fix it okay I don't know how I play about that. Like, one thing about it, even if it's going to look crunchy, I'm going to make sure that it ain't crunchy. Only only person that know it look crunchy is me. Okay? <laughs> only person that's going to know it look crunchy is me. But anyways, so boom, we went ahead and took some more of them edges out. Go ahead and cut them so we can go ahead and make them soft and curly. 
So if you know anything about these little hot beauties, you know that these were the flat irons of the time. And yes, I still have mine. I would never let these beauties go because they are the best. They get hot so fast and they are, they just, they durable. Like, oh my God, if you still got your hot beauties to this day and they still sell them. So don't do me. Okay. Um, I actually still had this from about two years ago, actually probably longer than that. Um, I just, you know, been using them ever since, but yes, that is just as easy as that to get some soft baby hairs, just basically curl them up and don't gel them down literally i did not gel them down i just made sure that i combed them out so they could be nice and soft okay that is the end of this video i love it i love the way it turned out i love the soft edges everything about this is just it's giving and it's full and it's super soft and this is synthetic like can you believe that like and i love that i did the edges the way i did them because it just gives natural bro this hair is 10 out of 10 highly recommend i hope that you guys enjoyed this video feel free to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like and comment on this video and as always nevertheless never stress always less okay bye